everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Ellie and in today's chatty vlog we're going to be talking about eight simple habits that can hopefully uplift the mood or help you get a little bit more organized in life or just help out in general these things I'm going to talk about are just things that help me out and have helped me out in the past so I hope that you enjoy them do with them what you will it's not me saying to you you have to do these things or you have to do these things every single day you could do one of these things every day or you could do all of these things every day it's completely up to you so my first habit is actually just smiling it's just smiling whether it's at yourself in the mirror which might be a little bit weird but it could be to yourself it might be going out and about and seeing somebody and smiling at them i always feel really bad when i smile at somebody and somebody doesn't smile back to me now i'm not saying if i smile at you you need to smile at me back however i just feel that smiles are infectious and you don't know what other people are going through in their daily lives they don't know what you're going through in your daily lives and i think sometimes just smiling at people can just bring a little lift in the day and they say that smiling is infectious so if you're smiling at someone they smile back at you they might then go and smile at someone else which makes you go and smile at someone else and then everybody will hopefully be smiling at the end of the day i know how the world works that isn't how people go about their day-to-day -day lives but whether it's smiling or laughing just when you're feeling low and not in a good place I found going and watching something that I know is going to make me laugh will make me feel a little bit better. So putting on a favourite TV programme, watching funny clips, just anything that will just boost your mood slightly, even if it's just for a couple of seconds. If you do that every single day, it does change you a little bit, which leads us on to habit number two. Now, so far I've been talking about how interacting with other people can make you feel better. Now, this might not necessarily mean that it's impacting you. Whenever it's Christmas time or birthdays or any occasion and you're giving somebody else a present, it makes you feel really good inside. Well, giving compliments is very similar. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you've brightened somebody else's day up for a little bit. That always makes me feel really happy. So for example, if someone's got a really nice dress on or someone's got a nice coat or if someone's dog is really nice, it's it, anything that you can do to try and impact somebody else's life on a positive note will definitely help you feel better in your life and you never know next time you go out or next time you see them they'll they might remember you 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 never know and that small acts of kindness i can guarantee you will make you feel a little bit happier in yourself knowing that you've helped somebody else out habit number three is plan your week or your day out with your tasks just so that you're not getting overwhelmed even if you get one thing done a day one small thing it could be making your bed it could be washing up you don't need to do everything all at once these kinds of things just snowball and continue and continue they're on your day-to-day -day thing so plan your week spend two minutes at the end of every week preparing your task for that next week as I said, you could do washing on Monday, hoovering on Tuesday, meal prep on Wednesday, the food shop on Thursday, and just general clean and tidying on the Friday. And I don't mean as in like a full on deep clean, blah, blah, blah. I just mean just one simple task a day will help. If you have more time to do more, then do more. But I really used to get overwhelmed and I still do. Believe me, I still do. But with planning your week, I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that you make either a half an hour, an hour, a couple of hours, an evening to yourself to do something that you want to do. And whether that be like a pamper night, which is what I do on a Thursday, I make sure that I have my foot spa, I have my face mask and I have a bubble bath. That is my time for me. So I do that every Thursday without fail and it makes me feel so much better. It gives me something to look forward to in the week that is just for me. I put my candles on, I put my spa music on and I'm away, I could be anywhere. I literally could be anywhere. I could be in a spa, whatever. But it's just something that gives you a little bit of you time. If you don't have an hour or if you don't have an evening or if your work or home life is very chaotic just take 15 minutes try and find time in your busy life to just look after you because believe me you need it you deserve it so take it make that time for yourself 
even if you're just laying down, even if you're having a nap, it doesn't matter what you want to do, it's your time, you do with it what you want. Which moves me on to habit number four, which I have been neglecting a little bit, is going for a walk. Just simply going for a walk once a week, once a day, once every two weeks. I think being outside in the fresh air, whether it's windy, rainy, snowing, I love the snow so I don't care about being out in it. The heat that I can't deal with. When it's so hot, that's when I can't be bothered. But luckily, with this weather that we've been having at the moment, it's not been that hot. Going for a walk, being with nature, even if it's just around the block, just go for a walk. It clears your mind. It allows you to think about things. It allows you to either clear your mind or go through things in your head. It just, a walk is free. You can go anywhere. You can drive somewhere to go be somewhere nice. You can walk around the block. Anything, just time outside, getting a little bit of exercise in, I find really helps. If you can walk to work, walk to work. If you're going to meet your friends and you can walk it, walk it. If it means parking a little bit further away from the destination that you need to be just so that it's an extra 10 minute walk walk it if you catch the bus get off the stop before and walk just little things that you can tweak so that you're just getting an extra 10 minutes of being outside a day or meet up with your friends and go for a walk and talking of friends this now leads me on to habit number five starting a new hobby now this could be with friends it could be without friends but i do think a new hobby really does help my new hobby, because I am such an old woman, is cross-stitching. I never knew how much I loved cross-stitching. And believe me, when I started it, I was cross-stitching several times a day. But I love it. I love it. I love putting music on, lighting a candle, sitting down, cross-stitching. You don't need to pay for it. It could be a hobby that you, it could be something that you don't need to pay for. As I said, you could just go walking, bird watching, reading. It can be anything but that can kind of intertwine into the planning your tasks and planning that evening or hour to yourself just a simple hobby that you can do by yourself or if not if you want to go to and do something with your friends if your friends do something going to the gym going to classes it's any kind of hobby to get you out of what you do in your day-to-day -day life anything that can relax you or engage you it can be anything but I do think that finding something that you really like to do could be anything, it could be drawing, just something for you that you love. Now, habit number six is kind of taking a little bit of a turn. And this is something that I still do that I'm working on. And especially now doing YouTube and being so new to YouTube, I'm really trying hard not to. But number six is comparing yourself to others. Now, let me just say, before we start, whoever you are, whatever you look like, you're beautiful in yourself, and don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. I think in today's society, social media may count as you have to be this shape, you have to look this certain way, you have to follow this diet, or you have to be into this kind of things. You can't wear that, and I just, I just think it's wrong. You be who you want to be. But comparing yourself to others in a negative way, it creates such a downward spiral and it can sometimes be very hard to get back out of it. So all I'm trying to say is stop comparing yourself to people. You are your own person. There is not another person out there like you and you should be proud of who you are, where you've come from, what background you have. You could have how you've improved your life or how you feel like you've improved your life. No one else is you and no one else will ever be you, and no one else should ever be you. So again, if you take anything else from this video, just take the fact out that you are great and be who you want to be. And then kind of leading to number seven is, I think, being vulnerable, letting go of negativity, learning that sometimes we can be wrong in situations and maybe apologising for things. My, my one big thing in my life is time. I am very strict with this time we need to be doing this this time we need to be doing this whereas at the moment I'm really really trying hard and through the first year of my little boy I think I was so reliant on time frames and time structures it just kind of like ruined me because I was never like this before I was always late to things and I was always the person that I don't care what we did I don't really care I always cared about what I ate but I wasn't really that bothered about things but 
now I get very anxious if timing goes wrong or if Alfie doesn't sleep until when he's supposed to sleep till I'm trying so hard just to be vulnerable and just relax but just letting go I think letting go of grudges and learning to cooperate I think is a big one so if any of you out there are struggling with family members with partners with friends and you've got a lot of negativity about someone in your life try and maybe let it go either let it go and move on because that might be what's dragging you down in life that might be what's helping towards low moods but just try and talk through a situation a situation that has been burdening your mind just try and sit down even if it's not with that person or with that group of people just with someone just sit down and talk about how you're feeling be vulnerable with someone and just let anger out let sadness out it might not make you feel better forever but it might make you feel better for a little while which then leads me nicely into my final tip number eight which is what i am trying to do at the moment is try to live in the moment i hate the phrase live in the moment i really really do but i do think it helps i don't think there's another way to say it living for today living for now put phones down spend time with people that you love spend time doing things that you love i think technology nowadays everybody's so consumed by technology watching tv being on phones being on games and living together but separately like i just feel like being together with people but just whatever your current situation is at the moment go and live life go to the pub with your friends go to the cinema go just go and enjoy it because we only have one and I'm now 31 years old and I still feel like I'm like 15. And I remember people saying to me, oh, I'm like 80 and I still feel 15 years old. I'm starting to realize what they mean because time and the days and the years is just going by so quickly. And I just want to make the most of it. And doing YouTube is one of the things that I've wanted to do for the longest time. So this is how I'm living in the moment. Go and sit in the sun. <laughs> go and sit in the rain, read the book that you wanted to read, watch the film that you wanted to go and see, see that person that you've not seen in the longest time that lives in the next village, speak to friends that you haven't spoken to in a long time, try and help other people. I just feel like all these things that I've spoken about kind of like all intertwine into one. And as I said, you don't have to do anything like i'm not forcing you to do any of these things at all you might find some of the things i've spoken about really stupid but just give them a go anyway i hope i haven't rambled on too much i was going to try and make this video quite short but it's already currently at 32 minutes so i've got a lot to edit but i just wanted to say oh my god thank you so much to everybody that has watched the vlogs and especially to who has subscribed thank you so much i think i hit just over 100 subscribers the other day and i honestly just i think just over a month i got up i can't believe it i just want to say thank you so so much to everybody who has subscribed and liked and everything i i feel generally actually overwhelmed by how many people have liked the content that i've done so far and i genuinely was not expecting it i mean a few vlogs ago i think i posted like one of my my one of my vlogs had hit like just over a thousand well one of them is now over six thousand views and like i can't like i generally i can't believe it so honestly thank you so 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 much and i am now going to continue doing this because i did it at the beginning just to like test the waters out to see how it was going to go but it's i i personally think it's going really well like daniel thinks like i'm doing really well with the amount of views and subscribers that i've got already but just on the off chance that you haven't liked the video yet or haven't subscribed now's the time to do so it would be so much appreciated that'll be all for today i hope you've enjoyed it and again like i said even if i've helped out and given some food to thought you don't have to do any of it it's just something that i wanted to share to try and help out if i could just to try and make you feel a little bit better. But you take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next vlog. So thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.